Hey everyone, here with Wizard, and we're going to try our frantic coding build a little more. So this is based around just loading your heap early, right? So we've got our parasites, we've got our breakers like Paperclip. Soon we're going to have the Sentry version of this too, which is going to be a pretty decent card. And just try, try to get the gear checks out of the way, right? So a lot of time with Wizard you can get stuck behind like a quandary or a vanilla wraparound, you just can't break it early on, it's annoying. But if you dump 10 cards in the bin, you get a program for sure on the table, and you also get something in the bin that you can use. You can daisy your parasites, which you will run, all that stuff. And I also like the Fem interaction, because Fem's pretty good right now. So he does not ice his R&D, he's worried about Siphon Wiz. This is definitely an advantage that Wizard has right now, that there's various builds, and you've got a guess before you even start playing what kind of wizard you're up against in this case we didn't get anything exciting but a lot of turns you'll like you know hit a trashable you'll trash it you run again hit an agenda run again hit a new card you can see a bunch of new cards at the start so he's got his new sound which is good for him that will block us uh frantic now might as well right <laughs> wow. So we managed to miss everything except Parasite, which there's currently no res dice. Jeez. I guess I could have face checked this, but if it was a toll booth, eh, it would have been okay. This is probably News Hound, right? So we're going to get traced. <laughs> We'll just hang out. So the good news is we dumped our slums, which we didn't really want anyway. The vamp, we probably don't want this matchup either. And we did not dump like the ice carve, which we want, or yeah, could be worse. Got an upgrade there. I don't know if he's playing like Priest kind of glacier thing. I don't know, but we'll take it easy. We know there's a new sound. We're gonna want to get a fem out for that, and or and or some suckers. Kind of maybe worry about hardening news. Oh, gift. Okay, so maybe mid seasons is happening too. So he's gonna keep one back. Keegan Lane. Oh, baby. Interesting. So Raven into Keegan Lane. So this is presumably a third Keegan Lane. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Hmm. And Parasite again. If we think he's got QPM, I'm just going to run into this. If it is the news hand, he doesn't have a current type yet, so it won't cost us that much to go through it. Yep. So we'll pay three, we'll get four back. We can start parasiting it. Restructure. Fair. He didn't see hard hitting, so I'm not going to bother clicking money right now. I'm just going to keep drawing. Should have drawn first in case this was an exciting card. Luckily, it was not. He's got a lot of money over there. Are we just trying to blow our, blow our rig up? We might end up playing this Femme for $9. So 
So he's got enough money to make a toll booth here. He might feel that he can shed like an Astro in here and just score like that. Or breaking news. So we had the option to just play Femme for nine. Plop. And you can Deja Retrieval run, but that costs you five and extra clicks, so it's really not better than just playing this for nine. If he doesn't make a play, we can Deja for Sucker, grab a Sucker, and then go here with the Ice Carver and pop that for the last $4. It's a pretty decent turn, nothing else happens. We can get our Parasite back. Counter a barrier. Triggers. Hmm, it's a good question. Double check that perhaps. Yeah, so it looks like you encounter the trigger happens and then step 3.1 paid abilities, icebreakers can be used. So he's probably thinking what's scoring behind. So this is like Keegan and like wrap around. So if he had any thoughts of rushing here, probably just not gonna happen. So we gotta figure out, do we actually go at a Data Raven here? And is this actually a Keegan lane or is this actually... Though if we're not tagged, won't matter, right? I guess this is probably the Keegan first. I think he's gonna prepare the way to put an agenda in there next turn. So I think you want to do our sort of a bit slower thing. Go check this card just in case. Get our sucker token. So you pitched a data raven. I feel like that's almost the good the good ice. You don't want to pitch. J How. Alright, getting some value out of wizard. Oh geez, he just put the Astro. Well, that's fair. So he probably figured that I wouldn't run since I had seen that there were two Keegans in his hand, neither of which he discarded. Is it worth putting slums out this game to try to stop some of his recursion? Don't know that it is. Let's look for medium. Not a medium. I think he has arc lockdown. Like, can we discard this paper clip safely? So we could have slammed that Jackson, but we were paying two dollars for the privilege. Nice. Archangel. Yeah. Is it actually worth three to bounce my ice carver? Yeah. Bounce the sucker. That's fair too. So I feel like we don't need the slums. It's more of a nice to have. I don't think he's got enough recursion to really punish us here. And if he has arc lockdown, 
Do you celebrity gift for three influence? I'm gonna go with he doesn't have it. I mean, it would kind of play into the rig shooter with Keegan. I don't know. Still no current out of Saul either. If you're just playing agendas, what do you think? Well, let's make him res the data, the data raven. Because we can jack out. And either parasite it down, or we can fem it, depending on what we want to do. Ooh. Okay. So we can parasite that. Or we can fem it. I think we want to parasite on R and D. But if this is Data Raven, then yeah, hard to say. Hedge fund, that's exactly what he wants to see. I wonder if we can get him to pay here. So he can't play his hedge fund. I don't think anything too bad can happen here. If he bounces this again with Archangel, it's it's whatever. No action, I'm gonna get to see this juicy card. All right, what's in the hand? Get the food. That's been there for a long time. New is in there, and there is a Keegan. Cool. So we want to invest in this toll booth, which we have the appropriate fem for. If we were using um, Mimic, now we'd be more worried about this thing. But we either use Carver, Yogg, it's Sucker. We're paying three bucks a pop, or we use the fem. The fem's going to save money pretty quickly. What I would love to draw is a second contract because both these servers are pretty open for us. Well, that's nice for him. He's got a bunch of money. Ooh, clones are not people. Three influence. So let's say we can now rule out. Boom, we can rule out a few other higher influence things. I don't think he's got arc locked down. So we're not in a huge hurry to even stop paper clip before it gets locked out. Let's look for contract or medium. Yeah. Oh well. I'll get his Jackson again, but it doesn't overly help him. It's, he can find another ice, I guess, once this one dies. He has to actually ice this this turn. The next turn, the ice carver will make it uh, explode next turn, which is pretty juicy. This is actually such a good card these days. Triple ice in HQ. Did he draw agenda then? So Archangel now a bit of a pain for us. We can bring it down to five power with the ice carver. Still need two sucker tokens, which we ha currently have. There's the medium. Or it's Data Raven, so I could, like, pick at R&D some more. Did he throw away agendas? I don't think he did. Huh. Oh no, Cyberdeck is in there now. Well then. Go 
Good for him. That's what he needed, right? So we can discard the Carver, leaving us kind of flat-footed next turn. Why is he playing this current? Because like you can't, it's three bucks, right? You can't re replay it all the time. Uh, if we don't go this turn, he's going to be able to ice it up. I don't know. I don't think we want to show our hand right now. So yogging this requires two suckers. It's going to be hard to get and keep those suckers. We can fem this hard for nine. Fem contract run run. Kind of so-so. Because so. you can put a second ice very easily, right? But I think that's data raven. I kind of like the fem play though. We're gonna make money back. Probably see some goodies. We can get a parasite again. Get the BL, seems good. Targeted marketing. Uh, naming Parasite's kind of okay. I guess Paperclip's okay too if he's got the right breaker. Yeah. Or if he has the right ice. Might just win though. Do we win? Hedge fund. Good for him. So what we're hoping that this is the data raven because that would discourage us more from running R&D and that we've now femmed it. He's going to put the Archangel and we can yog the Archangel. So we're going to optimistically play the yog. The question is, do we play the medium also? So if this is actually data raven, we're going to get play, hit play medium for nothing, really. But kind of nothing ventured, right? Let's go. Ah. So I'll take the tag. I will, whoops. I don't need to use a sucker. Counter V2. I can just break because of the because of the carver. Okay. Sand sand, yeah, we gotta get rid of that. And I think we have to shake tag here too. So this raven is not too bad now. Tag in a buck. Can live with that when we're getting four back. So what I'm finding the secret of this deck is to not just put your contract on archives and just run for no reason. That can be good for setup, but later on you really want to be getting value and then just using this to make the tax not happen. So can we go against this? If it's the Archangel, we can. If it's under Tollbooth, we can. If he gets a power counter, that's really bad. Does he have a toll booth? He might have a barrier too. I think we venture here. That's that's pretty annoying. Okay. Well, we'll get two access. We'll, we'll get some money back. So I'll take a tag, break her up. Fem becomes actually an amazing breaker once you have the carver out. Most thunders are not that big. Raven three strength, 
Oh, did I not spend? Yeah. Whoops. Should I spend one last time? Yeah, I was supposed to spend one last time. That would have been fine. Okay. There's the food. Oh, another one. <laughs> so I find it's really hard for Corp these days to make a good remote because the threat to central is just so strong. The successful Corp deck for me these days is one that doesn't have to commit much money to the remote, which can mean like, you know, CI can do that because they just have all their stuff in HQ. That could be CDM where your remotes are low investment because they're just naked remotes for the most part. Could be like an NEH, like an asset spam where you're scoring off the board, sans sans and all that. Uh, Jeeves kind of comes in that category too, because Jeeves, you can put like a little bit of ice in front of him and then you can fast advance that way. So if your game plan involves like resing $8 ice in remote and then like putting in more ice in front of that and trying to score there, it's just so difficult because the runner can ignore whatever you're doing and just contract medium and go in R and D and just tunnel through. Uh, like we were in pretty good shape to like Deja two parasites, you know, destroy both of these ice once as soon as we found our grimoire, which was the next card. And it's tough. It's really tough for the court or for the runner to be kept. Tough for the runner to get locked out of R and D when the corp is spending money on the remote. Whereas if you had this toll booth on R and D from the start, we would have not made any headway on this server. Thanks for watching.